Dignan, old Dignan, dude. Dignan! If we got some Dignan fans, let us know. Please let us know in the chat in the comments. Uh, say I'm a Dignan fan and I don't care who knows. Yes. Say I'm a Dignan fan and I don't care who knows it. Yes. It's no secret that I'm a Dignan fan. Dignan jerseys are going on sale soon too. Dignan, Dignan jerseys, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> no. No. Is that what nipples sound like to you? I thought that was a Squidward walking impression. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I like that there's a rhythm here. Yeah, it's, it's a like song. A song. Yeah. Yeah. It's the nipple song. Yeah, it's the song of life. It's by Nippleback. Yeah. Holy shut up! You know how Jesus turned water into wine in the Bible? I do, yeah. Last week I turned wine into puke. <laughs> <laughs> He's really close. You should hear me. Yeah. God, I'm sorry if you're sleeping, but I really <laughs> like a point. Please. Please, thank you. Okay. That was great in asking for points from God. He lives right upstairs. He's up there. Yeah. All right, 2016. Let's think of something that happened this year, like another The bit. Cavs won the finals. Are you kidding me? Came back from 3-1 down, the greatest sports championship of all time. Yeah. How could you forget 2016? I watched game five on acid in Ann Arbor. Really? In a crowded sports bar. It was one of the most intense trips I've ever had. Was it good? Oh, I was freaking out. I was like, <laughs> I was like in the game. Okay, I'll ask again. Was it good? <laughs> <laughs> okay. There were a hundred TVs around me and people like splashing beers around and I was sitting there like, <sighs> I was like speaking Latin to LeBron. And then, he, <laughs> and then he threw it off. This is the game where he threw it off glass. Yeah. And dunked it. And let's just say, I climaxed. <laughs> we can say that. I can say that. You, you can. You can say it. Yeah. I climaxed. <laughs> on LSD in a sports bar in Ann Arbor. <laughs> Not back to reality. Oop, there goes gravity. Oop, there goes army. Oop, there goes baby. Oop, I ain't too busy. Oop, I can't see you. Oop, I'm never back. I thought that was something like in the room going wrong. <laughs> I thought the foundation of the house was crumbling. <laughs> What's the Richter scale on this one? I don't know. <laughs> Basketball is confusing. Apple bottom jeans, jeans, boots with the fur, with the fur. The whole club is looking at her. her. Another self care. I feel like everybody's kind of focused on self care in these GQ things. That's what I mean, they're like flexing. Yeah, I don't okay. know. Oh, I really do care about myself. You got like a pack of smokes and like a three dollar bill <laughs> and <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> I got the hiccups. Actually? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are those your hiccups? Yeah, dude. Like, <laughs> they just happen like that. It's not a deal. I mean some people sneeze <laughs> loud and like other people like cough and mm. some people shit their pants in public and <laughs> I get some crazy hiccups. It's whatever. Yeah. I mean I wouldn't call them crazy. Oh, no, I think they're regular. Like, I don't mm. want you to feel like I'm not trying to stigmatize your ass. I don't want to make you any more self-conscious than you feel like you have to be in mm. this moment. It's not like you can control them, obviously. No. So yeah. it's all good with me. I feel like they're kind of cool, actually. They kind of make you like special. They're like your superpower. Thanks. That means a lot. Mm -hmm. Where's the baby penis? <laughs> it's Okay, we have an inherent bias here because we were both in the video and yeah. got 10K. Yeah. So <laughs> it's gonna be tough. I mean, I wanna put this at S for that reason. Um, we got a lot of money, yeah, and I double back through the grocery line like three times with different liquors. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just kept buying me yeah. like And like a mustache and yeah. a beard at one of them. You had like a, you put on a raincoat. It was like, yeah. I was drinking them though, and so by the fourth time through, I threw a bottle at Drake. But he caught it. He caught it and then gave me more money. Yeah. <laughs> he said, Shh. It's all right, you just misunderstood. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Drake. What is this? What? It's a rally smiley. I'm down one. Really? I need a little... Mm -hmm. Are you resorting to visual gags? I need a little... Mm -hmm. I told you, it's got to be about the words. No more physical gags. No more I'm, goofs. Ready? I'm an elephant. <laughs> what are we, the Three Stooges? Yeah. I mean, come on. <laughs> oh my god. Liven up. Tell a joke. <laughs> this is... I, I do not stand by this. Ready? Okay. What are you, Jeff Dunham? Hot pocket!
buckets. Is that Jeff Dunham? <laughs> How are we supposed to be the next Chappelle show if you're out here just spewing all this Three Stooges bullshit, all this fucking old Looney Tunes, Tom and Jerry type shit? Honestly, it's just embarrassing. Think about a joke and tell it. These kids raised on fucking Daniel Tosh and Fluffy. It's like, I can't even believe it. Where's comedy going? Where's it gone? Get off TikTok and read a fucking book. Daniel Tosh is cute. I do like his cardigans, honestly. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I mean, I kind of spotted you a point there. It's a mulligan. That's what they call an old Flanagan mulligan. Or a breakfast ball. A breakfast ball was something completely different for me growing up. My mom actually used to take the pokeballs, the plastic pokeballs from the McDonald's meals, and uh -huh. she would fill those up with syrup, bacon, and eggs, but a real small amount, and just kind of ball it up, and we would eat those. That's cool. With the plastic, too. We'd have to swallow the whole thing. A power once. nugget. It was extended release, so. Nice. I get a lot of energy throughout the day from that. Mm, the syrup's kicking in. <laughs> Your mom is so creative in the kitchen. I love her. I, I was I was all the way there with you until the way you said I love her. <laughs> I love her. I love, I love her. her. I love her too. Yeah, we love her. I love you, mom. Thanks, Shannon. What does GQ stand for? Good question. Oh. Take your head off. Oh yeah. I know this by two significant events in my life that were marked by either song. You told me the other day you didn't have any significant events in your life. Oh, uh, well, so I had my first kiss when beautiful the year Beautiful Girls came out. Mm -hmm. And I caught my first body when uh, Poker Face came out. Oh my god. Yeah, it was crazy. These guys were working on the scaffolding, right, downtown. This guy <laughs> keeled over backwards. And I went out, all out. Sports Center top 10 almost played. Snagged him. Yeah. Caught him right in front of like a whole family. Saved his life probably. Oh, you caught, <laughs> so you caught your first body. <laughs> yeah. So a guy fell and you caught him and saved his life. They were on scaffolding downtown. Like I said, I set the whole scene up. I thought pretty well. No, yeah, it's very, it's easy to understand. It's yeah. just the phrase caught a body. When you hear that in a rap song, I just want you to know that that does not mean the same thing. Oh my God. I don't even tell a lot of people this, but like for real, for real, for real, mm -hmm. I didn't used to have all this money. Yeah. And then like, I came up. Yeah. Now I got all this money, so like, you can too, for real, for real. Yeah, no, that means a lot to me because like nobody ever really talks about like the process or like the journey or like yep. like all those yep. years being broke. Yep. They don't tell you about like sleeping on the mattress, yep. eating leftover cat shit. Yep. They don't tell you about those parts of it. Like it's all about like the money, the fame, the cars, the women. The new cat shit. It's almost never about all the cat shit you eat along the way. Yep. Everybody just wants to talk about all the stuff they have now. But what about when you didn't have anything except for cat shit? Mm-hmm. Tell real. me about that. That's what I that's what I'm that's the book I wanna read. I wanna read the book about cat shit. <laughs> for real though, you gotta quit with the cat shit stuff. Cat shit killed my father, man. How did that, what? He choked. Seems more like a chewing problem than like what was being eaten. <laughs> you ever been to a Valspar store? I don't know what that is, so I'm gonna say no. Valspar is like the famous paints. I only use homemade paints. So really? people's, yeah, it's like blood, squirt, semen, <laughs> piss, all glue, stuff like that. Mucus. Yeah, it's like all from the human body. I mix those into palettes and that's what I paint with. That's beautiful yet disgusting. Yeah, and that's why people don't really see my paintings. I don't like to put them out there because they're not good. Mm -hmm. It's very limited palettes with the human excrement. And they stink. They stink really bad, but I usually laminate them at the end so it kind of traps in the stench. Ooh, nice. But still not great paintings. They don't look good. <laughs> uh, the textures are bad, the colors are bad, the paintings are bad, and the subject matter is problematic. So. Why don't you ask for any of my squirt or piss? Oh, I need like healthy squirt and piss and stuff. Oh. Yeah. This era is gonna be tough for me to remember because, you know. <laughs> What's that contraption? <laughs> you never smoked one of those? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Do you have a wind-up water bong? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, really? Pineapple. Makes your cum taste good. <laughs> I'm about to finish. Grab the pineapple. <laughs> he live in Charlotte, but he from Atlanta. ATL. ATL. Me and my niggas, we think we the plants. Look at my dad. Sweet baby G. We've been winning all season. We undefeated. Send the pack off on Friday. Atlanta on a Monday. You ever played Call of Duty? <clears throat> you ever played Call of no. Duty? <clears throat> Have you ever played Call <clears throat> Wait, what's going on? You're <clears throat> Sorry.
Why do they call drinking coffee sucking bean piss? Because <laughs> it's beans. Yeah. And you have to squeeze the piss out of them to get the coffee. And so when you slurp it and or suck it, mm. you're sucking bean piss. Yeah, I mean, I get that. It's just weird that they like put it on like the windows at Starbucks. Yeah. It'll be like, come suck bean piss here. <laughs> In cursive. Yeah. With like snowflakes. And yeah, stuff. and like <laughs> autumn leaves and stuff like that. It's like pumpkin spice bean piss is back. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And come just, suck it. Come suck it. <laughs> come suck our pumpkin, pumpkin bean piss, <laughs> you know? Come get this pumpkin bean piss. You fuck. Like, why do they say stuff like that? Hey, star fucks, come get some pumpkin bean piss. It's just odd. I've never really understood marketing, though. It's not really my strong suit. No, so. We're artists. Anybody who wants to fight me, this is what you're up against, by the way. Holy smokes. You're about to throw your shoulder out, bro. No way. Just watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, he's got both arms going. Ah, uh, stop. You're going to be so sore tomorrow. Oh, I won't, dude. Yeah, Look will. at this. Oh, jeez. <laughs> the double fisticuffs. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh-oh. It's just four water bottles. <laughs> you already wrote your answer. I changed it. You typed it. <laughs> you typed it on the back of the board and changed your answer? Pick up a lot of dark magic in there. <laughs> I have kids, I'm gonna say, like, my, my son just dropped. Just dropped my son. Just dropped my son. <laughs> Run it up. Run him up. <laughs> Run him up. He's lit. DJ Grant had to ask to borrow my Lotrimin Ultra because he's got foot fungus. Where to shoot up? <laughs> X marks the spot. Put the heroin here. <laughs> Forget about all life's worries. <laughs> Bugging! Fuck anyone who's ever said anything bad about me. I'm serious. You just had to get that off your chest? I'm ready. Now you're vibing? <laughs> like a song in your head? No one else can hear it? <laughs> oh, that's cool. You can't see me. My time is now. I want to basically adopt a kid from my parents that is my own biological child at the age of four. Dun, 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 dun. And like, oh, the breakdown's coming. I seriously cannot play in this band anymore. <laughs> I cannot play in this band anymore, dude. We are too old for this. The genre's not popular. We've been doing it for six years. No connections, no touring. We're making like 150 bucks tonight. There's six of us. We can even go to fucking Denny's in the morning off of this shit. <laughs> hey, you want to tell him a little more about our sponsor, Riley? I hate that voice. Don't do that voice. Hey, Riley, you want to tell him a little bit more about our sponsor? Uh, hey, man, you want to tell him about our sponsor? Hey, dude, you want to tell him a little bit more about our sponsor? <laughs> Next one. Listen up. Let's tell him about the sponsor. Too close to the second one. Yeah, sorry. One. Hey man, you wanna tell him I'm more a sponsor? Love that one. You been to New York? Not physically. Have I listened to Empire State of Mind four times this morning? Yes. <laughs> Go Flash. No, oh, no, no. <laughs> sorry. That's their no, mascot? Yeah, it's a mascot. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, let's go back to 2018, the year you lost your limb in that whole forest fire. <laughs> <laughs> yes. My lower left, you guys have never seen it, but it's a it's a peg leg. That I was thinking about earlier, you know how for a while they were selling like ripped up or distressed clothing and that became very popular? Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if there's a way to do some other modifications, like grass stains become very popular. Oh yeah, yeah. or like coffee stains. Yeah, so you go to like H&M and there's like a mustard stain polo that's yeah. super popular. <laughs> or like white pants with grass stains on the knees. Or maybe even like- Blood. <laughs> I was gonna say like lint covered shirts. Mm. Like it comes pre-linted. <laughs> or like a nice pair of underwear with a brown streak on the butt. Oh, mm. that's gross. They're pre-pooped, so you, <laughs> it doesn't matter what you do. Uh, you know what I mean? It's stylish. It's in. 